15.10 in 23 minutes. And I have to say, those two matches that each of the Korean players played yesterday, their mixed doubles semi-final, Second obviously game. together, and then their ladies doubles Play. and mixed doubles seems to be taking its toll. do if they want to play themselves back Love into this. Well exactly like we saw there, I think Ra's got to be a little bit sharper at the net, we see they're looking for it, you know credit to the Chinese Jill, they've played well, they've got the lift, they've really been dom dominating the game. I just felt in the first set the, the Koreans just looked a little bit flat, you know not, not quite the sort of sparkling Love safe all. selves, they were sort of quite happy to give the lift away and then I think they've got to up their tempo of their game a bit more. And also, Kim Dong moon cutting out these unforced errors. Yeah, we, you know, it's, it's so unlike him. We, we, we're not used to seeing it. One love, second server. Well, I remember in the Olympic Games when Zhang Jun and Gao Ling won the opening game there. Fairly tight game. 15-11, they romped through the second, 15-1. Yep, she's, she's definitely got involved there. Two. Exactly, and... and no. You know, she's been backing off a little bit, obviously because of the power of Zhang, but they've, you know, this is what they've got to do. They've got to look for them gaps, compose themselves, start coming forward, start putting the pressure on the Chinese period. Oh, that's good. 34, man. Love, two. I really think Gao Ling has grown in confidence throughout these championships she's going for a lot more at the net yes Jill you know I mean this pair is sort of one of the informed pairs they won the All England you know they, they've, they've got to be confident they're playing so well you know very confident with each other one two well angled smash One, two, second server. Yeah. 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 Over. I think the Koreans have got two, to make a huge effort to one. take it earlier so that they can just push it in a downward direction. Yeah, as we saw there, you know, Ra went for that. Full commitment on that. Um, at the moment, you know... For most of the game, she's just been hanging a little bit. But as you say, try and get the angles. Just be pushing Three, it down, you know, even one. softly. But as long as they're getting the lift and are able to hit it down, they're, they're in a lot better position. often he doesn't win the rally when he goes forward to the net. Exactly, you know, when he's coming in, he's, he's putting the pressure on so much, he's hitting it so hard that, that it's impossible for the players to, tr to hit it over his head, you know, they're just reacting to get it back. Well, I don't think I've ever seen that with a Korean pair. Total confusion. Four. Who was to go for the shot at the back of the courts?
Whose was it, Darren? I think it was Kim's, you know, he'd he got the lift for himself, but Ras stepped back out, you know, she should have stayed in, you know, and as we said, looking for the net, because that's when at their best. Second server. As we see, it goes up short, he gets up so high again, but look at the angle, right into the tram lines. I mean, Kim attacking that net, hits the net call, she gets out of the way, hits it a little bit short. You know, Kim doesn't put a bad smash in, but she just manages to get a racket to him. What an opening she found. Back on level terms. Service over. Four ball. But Darren, I can't help but feel that the Koreans, well, I know they're tired, but it's almost as if they're not really up for this. But this is the final of the World Championships. Yes, yeah, you know, normally, you know, you, you see players, you see it in their eyes, their body language, but at the moment, they, as I said earlier, they just look a little bit flat to me that they can't G themselves up somehow. Six, four. Yeah, Kim trying to change direction, cross the net, but basically onto the racket of Gao Lin. Seven, four. Interesting there, Darren. I didn't think Second the Koreans seven. hit downwards with such pace. No, they, they took the pace off it, you know. They're sort of trying to slow the game down a little bit more because they're not winning at, at the hard stuff at the moment. So they're just trying to push soft the shots in. Eight, four. Second server. Well, this is a good run of points from the Koreans. Four points already in this service hand. Fantastic return then, you know, brushing from his backhand side over the top of the shuttle was so deceptive to read that return. Waiting for the other. Yes, I mean, that time, you know, Kim on his defence, he got it away, he, you know, right into the, the deep corner. 
of Zhang. Zhang taking it low on his back end. Kim wasn't really under pressure. Yeah, slight confusion who should take that. You know, most unusual for the Korean pairing. But as you say, at the moment, Gaoling at the next, devastating. Gallin doing extremely well to get that whack, but really, Ra should have finished that point. You know, nine times out of ten, you've seen her hit winners from there. Seven, eight, second server. The Koreans are having more success when they're pushing Gao Ling back into court. That's right, they've, they've got to try and get her away from the net. It, it, exactly, Jill, you know, because she's playing so well at the net at the moment and she's on to everything. But if they could try and, you know, keep her mid-court at the sides a little bit. Eight all, second server. Clash of rackets between the Koreans. It's over, 8-0. Well, that was just long, but my goodness, you can't get much closer than that. Exactly, you know, even with Kim's smash there, there was a little bit more weight to it, you know, setting up the opening and, and Ra had followed it in, she was ready if, it, if the shuttle had been returned. Service fault called Nine, eight, by Bruna Hansen of Norway, indicating racket head too high. And, you know, the defence of Kim then was better. In the first game, you see him making many mistakes on that forehand side, but this time, no mistakes. You know, and they counteracted, got on the attack, put it away. A lot more positive in that rally. Kim. He only seems to take Eight, half a step ten. and then leap backwards. Yes, uh, it, he's saying he's, he's so quick at going forward, but we saw then going backwards, it's, it's just as quick. You know, from a flixer, it was a good length, he leapt back, was able to put the smash straight on the floor. Ah. Ah. Eight, and Rakim threatening the net more, having played the block 
she followed it forward to the net. Yeah, she's been hanging back a little bit, but that time you, you saw there was more purpose. She tried to come forward. You see her coming into the picture now, putting that more pressure on Gowling at the net. Nine, ten, again trying to Chinese supporters here in San Pablo Sports Palace yeah. and they'll Ten, be very nine, happy with that return of serve the net court yeah. well the umpire Mohan Taran of nine, Singapore ten keeping a very close eye on Kim Dong-moon and not to take so much time before he serves Ten, again we see another good angle smash from Zhang you know this time straight in the, at the body of Ra you know, she was trying to defend on her forehand side, she couldn't get her racket round quick enough. But look where her stance is, Darren, she's so far back in court. She's so far back, so even if she does get it back, you know, they can play to the net, that they're not threatening the Chinese pair at all. 11, 10. What a serve. Changing the angle, serving out wide, and lands on the line. 12, well, things looking very ominous indeed, as far as the Koreans are concerned. Yes, dear, you know, let the drop serve, hit one straight in the net, and it's, it's points at this stage in the game you just can't afford to give away. 12, 10, second server. Over. Kim's reactions there, 10, very good 12. indeed. Very quick, but you know, if you look at Gowling, she's still looking to come forward on everything, get her racket up, and I think that's the difference between the two women at the moment. Ra is hanging back, Gowling's coming forward all the time. Yeah, you're, you're absolutely right, Karen. Clear 10, example 12. of it there. Take it over. Well, yeah, Zhang annoyed with himself there. Gowling again, we see her coming forward, always coming forward. You know, she sets the short lift up for Zhang, but this time he misses one of his smashes. Oh, that's a good smash. This might be a cracking final. Back on level terms. Twelve all. And 
that's gone wide. 13, 12, second serve. Two points from levelling this final. And one game apiece. But still, a lot of hard work to be done. That's wide. 13, Again, you know, and it's one of the few occasions we're seeing Gowling back. But when we're seeing her back and they're coming forward, it's changing the, the way of the game. Service over. Well, I was going to say, John, you just sense that little 12. bit more urgency in the Koreans now. You know, they're, they're wanting to get forward. You know, they're going to get to the last few points of the game and all of a sudden, you know, they think we can do this now. Come on. Service. That should was be, fantastic. Should be made to 14, wait. For an awful lot of 12. players that put them Second off. Up. But here we are now, the reigning world champions. That knockoff game point. Oh. And they've leveled it. What a tremendous fight back from Kim Dong Moon and Ra Kyu Min, the holders of the world crown. 10-12 down in the second game, but they've levelled it at one game. 15-12 the score in that second.